friends. This is Linda Gift Diva. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well today and are doing something you love doing. I'm coming on today, uh, as the video title indicates, to talk about the August gift box and to show you what's going in the gift box next. Um, to remind you, I am working on this gift box, filling the inside of this gift box and when I fill it I will be uh, having a drawing on this channel for one of my crafty friends uh, one of you subscribers you have to be subscribed to the channel um, to receive it and it's just basically me <clears throat> working through my crafty uh, I was having some crafty mojo challenges and I wanted to work through those I'm not doing a craft fair this year so I feel a little weird usually I'm knee-deep in Christmas crafting right now and I'm not doing anything, so I'm kind of thrown. <laughs> so I thought this would be a fun project because I love fall and I never get to do fall projects because I'm always in the middle of like Christmas crafting at this time of year. So I thought I'm going to do one nice big fall project. So this was it. And so as, um, as you can see so far in the, I don't know why I closed that back up. So far in the box, um, we have... Now I can't undo it. <laughs> we have this um, journal that I made. I made two. I made a big one and a large one. And so many of you sent me a note saying that you thought that the big journal was fine. I am my own worst critic. Um, and so I think I'm just going to put the big journal in. I'll probably just let the winner decide what they want. Um, so that is that. So we've done a journal. So we put, stuck that in there. So I want to show you what's going in the box next. But before I do that, I wanted to send a quick shout out here to FP Handmade. Uh, she sent me, I made her some tumblers, and she sent me a lovely card, y'all. Look at there. Isn't that cute? It is so cute. And her little stamp on the back. And then I opened it up and <laughs> there, what did I do with it? Oh, I put it in my purse already. <laughs> There was a Hobby Lobby gift card in there. I didn't realize it until until later. Uh, so I just wanted to come on here and acknowledge that she that you know that she sent that to me. You did not have to send that to me. I sent those tumblers in love. You did not have to reciprocate at all. But I so appreciate that you thought of me enough to do that. So thank you so much, and I really appreciate that you sent that to me. And I apologize about how long it took me to acknowledge your your lovely gift. I did send her a note in via Instagram, but I wanted to come on here and acknowledge publicly that she did that for me, and I really, really appreciate it. So, with that being said, let me show you what we made for today, what we used for today's projects. So, there are two things going in the box today, actually. Um, so, I used, I pulled out the Anna Griff Griffin Thankfulness Floral Stickers because this is only one of two things I have that's really fall, even though I love the season, which is very disturbing to me. I'm like, how's this entire craft room filled with very little fall things? I'm probably not looking in the right spot. I probably have a box of fall stuff and I just can't find it. Um, so anyway, uh, then I pulled out some things in this, in the Anna Griffin haunted flower cart. I got it not for the haunted part, but the, for the fall part. Um, even though I will use some of the Halloween things, uh, to make some Halloween cards for some, some people in my family. I don't do a ton of Halloween. It's, you know, it's just not my jam really. Um, uh, but, um, this is a cute set. And so I wanted to pick it up for the fall embellishments. I also use this I got from Timu. It's like a flourish uh, cutting die set. Oh, before, um, let me also interject here. Then that I'm going to act, actually also enter this in uh, Jill Norwood, the lovely Jill Norwood's uh, Saturday Morning Makes, uh, where every Saturday she encourages you to come on and share your gift, your art, whatever that is, crochet, sewing, paper crafts, whatever it is. If you've spent some time enriching yourselves, and doing the what you love enrich us and show it on Saturday so um there's that <laughs> uh then I also pulled out I was inspired to pull this out by Scrappy Bookworm I think that's her name I will leave her channel in the description box um but she did a project a couple days ago to, with this using this die I completely forgot I had it in my in my stash 
I want to say it's KS Craft, but she made the cutest little cup things. I think she's doing it for a craft fair, and, and I'm definitely going to try to remember this, but I don't remember what happened yesterday, so I might have to write it down uh, for my for next year. But um, she did some really cute things, and she did hers in Halloween, but it inspired me to put to do the projects that I did for the box. So but I used that. I cannot remember where I got this doily set from. I think Allie, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where this came from. If anyone recognizes it, leave it in the description box because I, I I don't remember where I got it from. But I used the big one, um, the big doily die for this. And then I used some just some paper in my stash, some fall theme paper in my stash, and um, yeah. So let me show you what I made. So, first off, and I made two things. I made a sublimation pro well, I made three things. I made a sublimation project and then the projects I'm going about to show you. So, these are I, I wanted to make three of these, but in my not paying attention watching all of your videos out there, those of you that make videos, I, I watch your videos while I'm crafting. Uh, I wasn't paying attention and I glued this part all the way down on the third one. So I turned it into a card so you can't stick anything in it. Uh, but this is what I've made. Isn't this cute? I didn't realize that this die came with this little slit front where you can slide things in it. And that's how, and watching Scrappy Brookworm is how I realized I had this little jewel in my stash and I hadn't used it. This is so adorable. So I used the sentiments and some of the ephemera from the uh, fall flower cart. Um, well, that's gonna have to come, that's gonna have to be glue, hot glued down. The stickers are not always great. Um, and then this little, um, these spoons are part of the die set. It's, it's such a cute little die, and I used uh, Cricut uh, craft board to make it sturdy. And then, um, just die cut. This is basil paper. Um, that I picked up from Michael's a, a little while ago. And then I just added these lovely teas in here. Passion fruit black tea. And um, raspberry tea that I pick up from Amazon uh, in here. And so both of these one, um, are going into the box. One for the recipient of the box. And if she chooses to, one for a friend. So um, this turned out really cute. And then this is um, the paper is... Um, a sheet from a recollections paper pad uh, last year or the year before where they did the with the blue pumpkins I can't think of the name of it right now but it was a super pretty pad and was it was so pretty and so I used a pay a page of that and then this is an Anna Griffin big big sticker and then these are the thankful flower thankfulness flowers from the thankfulness flower set and then I kind of covered up the little wooden spoons there I didn't I, once I put that down there I was like oh no you can't tell that they're spoons but um I thought these turned out super cute I want to make some more of these so I might make some more for Christmas and then the third one like I said um I I glued it down so I made it into a card and then I realized it was a huge thing and it would not fit on my normal five by seven so I used some hunky dory adorable scorable paper and this is like a UK size card it's like five and five and five and five and three fourths by eight and eight and eight and eighth that's what it is that's what I ended up doing five and three fourths by eight and eighths um, and then I uh, went ahead and decorated the front of it like I like I normally did and then I found these cookies on creative fabrica and I cut them out with my Cricut and added I'm terrible with glossy accents y'all but I Added some glossy accents to the chocolate chips and to the sprinkles. And then I added some um, art uh, Finnebar glass pearl sprinkles um, on top of those to give it a little sparkle. And then I used this doily die to make it look like the cup was sitting on a doily. That was my intention anyway. And then this is some Creative Fabrica background paper, digital paper. And then this I wanted to use like steam coming out of the teacup and so that's why I used the flourish there I don't know if I was successful but there you go and then on the inside I just used a piece I didn't like it 
I didn't like it that it was going to be all covered in this flower. So I just did half flower. But I wanted to decorate the inside. And then I used this decorative paper again. And then I used, oh, I used this die. This is a Spellbinders die. It's an APG, APG die of the month. It's called Bella Olo, o, Ovalette. And it was the first time using that. It's super pretty. I love it. I'm going to make some cards with that because it's so pretty. And so I used that as my inside. And I cut that with that leftover, I had a leftover scrap of craft, craft board. So I put that in there so I could write a message inside. And then I just covered the back again with that paper. And so I used um, the third one that I glued together as a card. So hopefully, I'm not sure I like the card, but it, it I think it, it's okay. So then, so these two things. One for the recipient of the box and one for a friend, after I glue that down, of course, is um, going into this little pocket down here. Yay! So next, I made some fall towels. Aren't those beautiful? I got these images from Creative Fab Fabrica. It says, Meet Me in the Pumpkin Patch. And pumpkin patch, pick your own this way. <laughs> I thought those were really cute. Now, these are the towels I was telling you about from Hobby Lobby that they have now that are sublimation. They're only $1.49. And so, um, they're sold out on the Hobby Lobby website right now. Because I've been buying, I, I've probably bought them all. Because <laughs> I've been buying about the dozen and giving them to everybody. So, um, these... Uh, like I said, they're huge, but they sublimate beautifully and they look really good. So we're going to put those two towels into the box as well. So we only have one more pocket to fill up and I have some thoughts on the pocket. So stay tuned and then we'll be ready to give away this box. It's going to be so cute. I hope you're all going to want it it's so cute if nobody wants it then i'll end up you know i don't know giving it away to a co-worker or something but hopefully somebody out there will want it when the time comes and then i i was testing the towels and so I'm, i found this these on creative these uh recipe things files on creative fabrica and i thought how cute are those so i may make some of these for christmas um because they turned out so cute didn't that turn out cute So that is the additional one I made. Here is the card and the other stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you like the crafty content and will decide to hang out with me for a while and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a crafty video. If you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to each other. And I will talk to you in the next crafty video. Bye now.